Sorry about my Golden Freddy impression, but there were no words to describe how it felt getting close to like 500 headshots within the last day or two. But no matter how difficult that might have been and how long it might have taken, we still have a big challenge ahead of us. And that's getting 30 kills from behind with a melee weapon. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is probably gonna be the hardest thing to do out of this whole Path of Rowan's camo challenge event. But it is the only thing standing in our way from getting this mastery camo. And this is just amazing. It's like an Arizona iced tea can. I, I just need this. Any limited time skin, we need to get. And to do that, here's the class I'm gonna be using. Yes, I'm gonna have the riot shield on and be a little bit of a turtle, but I think when I'm using melee weapons, it's justified. If you're using a gun while you're turtling, it's not. I'm gonna start with the dual kadochis here. We might switch to the knife later on, depending on how I'm feeling. Him, but uh we're gonna start out with this because i think it has a little more range maybe it'll be easier to get kills from behind and to help out with that we're throwing on stun grenades here and so we have more stun grenades i have double tactical and resupply as my perks here and we got battle rage as my fuel upgrade might switch it to something else later but i, I like it it's kind of fun but anyway since they took away shipment 24 7 i'm gonna queue close quarters and back out of lobbies till i see shipment or farm 18 those are basically the only two maps worth playing okay after lobby hopping for the last five minutes we finally got a game of farm 18 and honestly this has been like my supplement to shipment while uh, the playlist has been gone. I've been queuing close quarters constantly, backing in and out of lobbies until I either get shipment or this map, and this it's worked pretty well. I've gotten a majority of my headshots on here. Ooh, is that a kill from behind? I hope so. But for the most part, for this challenge, I figured it'd be a little repetitive and maybe boring if you just saw me go for a hundred headshots with each weapon class. So I decided to stream most of it and the rest I got done while watching The Sopranos. Great show, by the way. But this grind has been made like so much longer and more difficult than it needed to be just by removing shipment 24 seven. Without having like that consistent map to go and grind on, it has been a, a bit of a chore because I tried 10 v 10s for a bit. You know, sometimes on some maps it can work. Like if I get like shoot house on 10 v 10s, I'll drop like 70 something kills a game. You know, hop on there and pop off a little bit. But most of the time I'm getting like the, the new map expo or any other like large map where I'm just trying to play hide and seek most of the time. Don't get me wrong. I like 10 v 10s, but when you're trying to get something done fast, Nothing really hits like shoe house or shipment. And honestly, it wouldn't be a problem if they just added a few more smaller maps in the game, but instead we get uh, the biggest map that we've seen yet. No hate. I like the new map. I think it looks cool, but uh, not very efficient for grinding camos or, you know, grinding whatever. Ooh, that should be a kill from behind. But even though I'm disappointed in the new map, this update's been pretty good so far. They've added in so many camos for me to grind. Having an entire event where you're grinding camos for each weapon class is genius. I would have never thought about that. And I'm expecting it in the future. We need to have this at least every season reloaded. They've definitely lifted the bar with this one, at least in terms of uh, unlockables for an update. And I am so ready for it. I just hope if they do keep doing it, that the camos stay up to par because this cherry blossom type camo is really cool. I don't really like how the camos leading up to the mastery are, are that scratched up. You can't really enjoy the camo as much. It's just not one fluid design. It's all scraped up for no reason other than for you to grind for the mastery but in the future if they're gonna put a nice camo in the game stop adding wear to it there's no need and there's three people with their back facing me and the second i go to swing at them they turn around this is what i hate about getting this stuff done maybe i need to turn on dead silence instead that'll probably be better than battle rage i need to throw my stuns just a little bit more we gotta get these people stuck in quicksand i do love the amount of camos that they've added in but i was stressing a little bit thinking that i might not be able to get them all done because i still have the ranked camo to do i'm about 67 wins into that i still have a lot to go on top of trying to grind all these out and the new event camos for doing the raids there's a lot to do in what is it like 20 something days left i'm sure we'll get it all done but it might be close to the finish line that we get it done like we'll be cutting it close there we go. That should be from behind. Unless they turn last second. This is one of the camos that I despise the most. I hate camos that depend on what somebody else is doing. Yeah, I can use dead silence. Yeah, I can stun. I can do whatever. But if they just turn around last second as I'm swinging at them, I got no control over that. I could get like 100 melee kills and probably only 20 of them would be from behind. It's just so like circumstantial. And with the time to kill being so fast and the amount of people using riot shields on their backs, it's like getting kills from behind is is like as a thing of the past i just hit my that's all folks on that sentence but it's true it, it, it's so difficult to get kills from behind in this game i would much rather do 100 mounted kills because at least i can choose whenever i want to mount i can mount on whatever surface i can throw on deployable covers it'll just make it so much easier but there's just too many variables that go into getting kills from behind that just make it so frustrating and it's also part of like the camo curse when i'm like hyper focusing on trying to get something done and it seems like it's happening so slow just makes it a little irritating to get done. I might need to throw on overclock instead of a uh, quick fix. That way I can get my dead silence faster. Give me more opportunities to flank. Or I can hit him like this. No! He literally killed him one second before I swung. Oh, there we go. Thank God that guy decided to pull out a cruise missile. 
Oh, come on. That should be a kill from behind. Please, bro. I put so much effort into climbing up the stairs and jumping out the window just to get behind him. And he turned around last second. I don't even think assassinations count for kills from behind. That's that's the most fucked up part about this whole thing. Is that one of the coolest kills you can get is an assassination in this game. And it don't even count for anything. But that's the game. We had 26 kills. Hopefully, we got at least three or four kills from behind. That's being hopeful. Oh, we only got two that game? I hate this challenge so much. And we're back again on basically the only map in this playlist. It's either I get this, Dome, or Mercado. I've seen shipment like a handful of times since the update. And every time it's been glorious. You know what? I'm gonna be a little camping Carl. I'm gonna wait for somebody to come through this door. Oh, no. The cod timing on that is crazy. The second I hit my dead silence, I know I didn't need it. But it was there, it was ready. The second I pull it out, dude walks in the door. That's just ridiculous. Don't turn around. Perfect. That's what we need these for. That little extra range it gives us. The knife doesn't have that. Now we just need one person to come on through here. Here we go. Beautiful. Perfect timing. Oh, they got a claymore over here now. Somebody's trying to anti-camp Carl me. It ain't gonna work, bucko. Oh, there we go. Come on. Stun go off. Perfect. Come here. No way, dude. Oh, I try to get low so I could grab the ankles and... I hate this. This challenge sucks. Damn, we kind of just got popped that game. But hopefully, we got some progress. Okay, we're at seven now. Not bad. A little three-piece in that game. But we're still not even at double digits. I hate this challenge so much. Okay. Quick fix ain't gonna help us out. Maybe we try ghost. It'll help us flank a little bit. Come on. Come through the door, please. For me. Oh, thank you. This is a really fun and interesting way to play the game. I'm glad COD's making me play like this to get a camo challenge done. Oh. No, it didn't even fucking work. Oh, and this guy knows now. Even with the one-two combo. The flash and then the shot to the face. Okay, one stun. Two stun. Red flush. Blue stun. I don't think either one of those were kills from behind. They both turned last second. No! Stop turning them around! Can I do this? I can. Genius. Eat that, little bitch. You eat one too. No, wait. Eat this one. Yeah. Didn't think I had two on me. Did oh, fuck you. Yeah, let's go. That's definitely one. We're kind of out of this game with at least one. Maybe two. No, a fucking cruise missile takes him out. Fucking God had to intervene for me getting camo progress. What's next? Lightning's going to strike. I hate this. There's a little dude over here. Eat that stun and I'll eat a bullet to the mouth. It's like the sound of the stun, like bouncing off the ground alerts them. So they turn to go see what that is and then they're stunned. And by the time they turn, they're already aimed right at me. Don't have to move too much and I'm dead. Come here. Come here. Yes. Come on. You there over on A? Push into here right now. No, actually, I'll push. Never mind. I was going to push you, but then your teammate decided to shoot at me. Go ahead. Come on in. The water's fine. Is he really not moving from that spot? I say as I sit in this corner. Come on. Yeah. Oh, oh. I really hope that counts because I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to hit him. Oh, that should be one from behind. Please, bro. All right. How much progress we get there? All right. Not bad. We're at 13 now. This is just such a crawl of a challenge. Please just give me shipment once. Maybe no, twice or three times, actually. Not just once. Oh, let's go. My prayers have been answered. It's hard point two. Beautiful. Who backed out of this game? Who would do such a thing? Now's our time. We've gotten 13 out of three games. I'm expecting to get at least 13 out of one game here. What's the best approach, though? Do I just flank and then wait behind one of the crates like this? Wait for them to walk through. And I, I, I jumped the gun a little bit. He saw me peeking out. Oh, he don't. There we go. Maybe if I just spam stun grenades, eventually I'll get to spawn behind somebody that I already stunned. Or I can just do this and die. Never mind. Disregard that. Come here. Let's go. That should be one, hopefully. Okay, maybe shipment doesn't help out as much as I thought. Because I'm just getting walloped. There's like no real way to flank here. I just get killed every time. There we go. That should be one though. I just need to be patient. Here we go. He had no idea. They have somewhat of an idea. Not much, though. Ooh. No, I didn't know there was one more on site. I had no idea. Damn, we're going in, too. Don't you move, mister. You moved, fucker. There we go. Maybe I just need to get lucky. You play my cards right. 
Oh, oh, shit. Save my teammate from assassination by getting one of my own. There we go. Oh, no. Stop going for the assassination. I'm literally just clicking. I, that should not be an assassination. I'm not hitting my assassination button. Oh, my Lanta. Please just give me the kill. Add that to the list of reasons why this camo challenge fucking sucks. Come on. Run through here, please. Thank you. And that's the game. Damn. Please say I got some decent progress. I don't even know when the next time I'm going to see shipment is. Oh, it wasn't even that much. But we're only eight kills from behind away. It was enough to make it within 10. If I can get eight kills from behind in this one game on Farm 18, I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket. Come here. Let's go. That's one. Don't turn around. Let's go. Is that one? It should be. There we go. Yeah. Keep them coming. Why? No. Be stunned. Thank you. Oh, that should be a kill from behind. At least for the effort. Oh, that should definitely be one. Why are you turning last second? Stop! Oh, that's so frustrating. Where the fuck are you shooting at, buddy? Even my teammates are turning last second. Okay. How many do we get from this game? I'm going to guess three. That was a pretty decent guess. Just four more and we're done. Then we have this mastery camo. Oh, and we get shipment? Let's go. We definitely have this done now. Actually, knock on wood. You better knock on wood too. I know I can get four just on shipment. Camo curse, you better fuck off. I don't got time for you. Oh, stab! What was that? Either my mouse is fucked up or my Katachi's jammed or Kadoshi's, whatever the fuck you want to call them. It's like my guy froze in fear. Oh, you little asshole. I see your ways. Too bad I see around them. That was nasty. Look a little double from behind. If we can get that again, that'd be great. Come here. No, you come here. Come on. No, why did I? I, I swung right in front of him and the game's over. It was team deathmatch. Fuck. Insane final kill cam. Oh, we just need two more. Okay, we we're lucky enough to get shipment again after lobby shopping for the last five minutes. Just two kills from behind is all I asked for. That's it. And I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm out of your hair. Come here. No. Oh, this guy's not even playing. Beautiful. I just need to find where he's at one more time. Oh, is that it? It should be. Oh, we ranked up. Also popped off a little bit. Yes, let's go. 15 kills or 30 kills from behind. We're done. We finally got the mastery challenge done. Get me out of here. Let me make sure that we do have it unlocked. Let's go. Now let's take a little peek at it. We have to go to all camos into events. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, let's take a quick little peek at this camo. I forgot about the knife's inspect animation. But I wanted to show it on a melee just because that's what we got it done with last. And that's beautiful. A little bit of a sun glare there. Let's try it again. Such a good looking camo and such a good idea to have an event camo. Let's take a look at the sniper. Oh my God. This is sweet. Brilliant idea. Whoever decided to put this in the game needs to, needs to have a raise. Let's see if we can get a good angle on this knife here without a big sun glare. That way's good. That way, eh. What if we stand this way? Stand facing the sun. Looks a little bit better. Come on. We'll get that inspect without the sun glare. There it is. Beautiful. I'm so happy to get this done. This is one of the best camos in the game, I think. But there you have it. We finally got the Rowan Camo Challenge event done. And I just really, really love this concept. We definitely need to see this back in future updates. I'd be fine with it once a season. But if they want to throw it in like for the drop of the season and then season reloaded, I'm fine with that too. But I've gone and tuckered myself out. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Your support truly really means the world to me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.